Sniper. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Man Boy Cave. Today we have another Persona 5, Persona 5 Royal episode. We are going to be telling you guys our top five favorite characters throughout the game and the Royal expansion. That was very professional. That was good. That was good. Yeah. Finally! So here's our roles for this video. Um... We're playing through Phantom Strikers right now, which is an awesome game, but oh, yeah. we're not doing anything from that game. This is just from Persona 5 Royal. Oh, well, uh, Persona 5. Persona yeah. Yeah. Or Persona 5. Um, don't watch if you don't want anything to get spoiled. Yeah, we probably will have spoilers. That's not really a rule, though. Uh, second rule, we didn't share our list with each other before this. You have to have a reason why he, the person is on your list. And, uh, I think that's it, right? We can make up more rules as we go, because it's our video. So we'll just yeah, start with that. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. So, um, do you want to go first with your number five? You can go first. You want me to go first? So, uh, my number five was, uh, Sojiro. Oh, Sojiro? Yeah, I liked him a lot. Um, you know, when you start the game off and he's, like, really rude and everything, you're kind of like, what's up, Gramps? Why, <laughs> why are you so mad? But as time goes on, like, not only to see, like, I think that's one of the social links that's most satisfying because you really see him, like, lighten up and develop that relationship with Joker. Um, he actually likes him at the end if you get his social link. Of, like, spoiler. I said spoiler. You did say spoiler. So, beside not even just him, part of what I'm including with him is um, the uh, atmosphere that he brings uh, with his like coffee shop yeah his just, coffee shop is his best feature it's his best feature i just loved the how cozy and uh familiar it becomes and it is like your like you know like little safe spot in the game uh you know a lot of important story plots happen there uh and just every like it just feels warm and cozy uh i just really like that a lot and i feel i just associate that with him naturally so um He's one of the ones I feel like, despite not being one of the main characters, he gets a lot more development. Um, I guess he's kind of a main character, yeah. in a way, for never going in the metaverse. But anyways, yeah, that's my number five. I enjoyed his character a lot, especially his development as he goes along. Mm -hmm. All right, my number five was Hifumi Togo. The reason I liked her was I really liked her personality and kind of her role in the game. I really liked, um, uh, in my opinion, she had some a pretty good social link. Um, I thought it was very helpful that once you got her to, to like a certain level in like Pararcana, you she would give you this like feature where like while in battle in battle like if three of your teammates died you could like swap them in with other people i thought that was very helpful yeah her ability is super helpful yeah, yeah. and i the, for the strategy for the combat yeah. yeah for sure and i just really liked her as a whole yeah except she didn't make it as a phantom thief yeah it would have she been wasn't cool enough for that well she wasn't she got cut so she's still an amazing soju player. okay yeah. so yeah okay all right so uh my number four is uh Ryuji. Uh, I loved him. You don't like Ryuji? Or Ryuji? You'll see him. Okay. So he, I just thought he was great. Um, I mean, obviously he kind of falls into that meatheadish a little bit. Like he's the um, knucklehead of the group. A little comic relief. Um, kind of like in uh, P3, like Junpei. Definitely fits into those, like the peg, if, you know, if you're going to put them in, you know, different categories. He's that one. But what I really appreciated about his character, I mean, I love the design, uh, just his normal outfits, and then obviously his metaverse, uh, the Phantom Thief outfit was awesome. But what I really liked is that no matter how many times, like, uh, somebody else kind of, like, dissed on him for saying something stupid or for, for basically for him just being him, is he never really backed down or apologized for it. He was just who he was and he was real. Uh, that's something I just really appreciated about his character is that he always stuck to you know who he was he didn't apologize for it and i think that's like a pretty admirable trait and um i think like you could learn a lot of lessons from that he Let was just uh if you say the f word gosh dang it doesn't he say it in strikers i don't think so he i i'm pretty it? sure oh. he just says effin oh effin. yeah effin. Effin. 
Let him say the gosh dang F word. Yeah, whatever. I don't care about I just thought he was great. Um, Yeah, top tier character for me. So, go ahead. You're number four. All right, my... My number four was Mishima Yuki. I... Uh, you don't... Man, you're going, like, obscure here. I love it. No, go. You're doing great. Um, yeah. My favorite, uh... Well, my fourth favorite character probably in this game was Mishima Yuki. Only because in the beginning, I really felt sorry for him because he was going through, like, all that abuse from Kamoshida. So it really made me happy to see him, like, get through that and start, like, a happier life when Kamoshida, like, left. And that just made me so happy. And uh, throughout the game, he's just, like, always so caring and helpful, and he just is a really good guy. He's a huge fanboy. Yeah, and he's just, like, one of my favorite characters. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, he was, he was an interesting character. He helped definitely uh, move the plot along. I think the only thing uh, and about him is that his, uh, the benefits from his social link, I don't think were quite as important. They weren't as important, but... But, his, but as a character, he was. It's not all about the argument. No, you're right. It's all... It's so, so no, you were time, just... It's just about their personality. Yeah. And, like, how you like them as a character and how... No, he was like, a good dude. He was their number one them. fanboy. So that was yeah. cool. And I did like how they went... When they went on the trip to Hawaii, that he did get to have um, a little more involvement in that part of the story. Like, mate, you know, he... I feel like he does was kind of even undervalued from the Phantom Thieves themselves, so that was cool that, that he got a little bit more screen time during that. It sucked that he got, like, tap water poisoning or whatever. Tap water poisoning? Yeah, remember that one scene where he was, like, oh, in, in the, the bathroom? bathroom like, was it from water or something he ate? No, uh, he was, like, barfing and having diarrhea because he... <laughs> because I don't he, remember. Yeah, because he, like, drank tap water, and then, like, right oh. after that, Ryuji said, like, isn't, like, the number one thing you're supposed to do in a foreign country, like, not to drink tap water? I don't remember that. Your memory's you so need good. To okay, you need to fine. Play game, My number three, number three, is uh, Dr. Maruki. Oh, dang it, I forgot about him. <laughs> Sucks to be you, man. So I go make a new list. the reason he's my number three is that uh, he was just absolutely phenomenal as a antagonist. I don't even want to say villain or bad guy because I really don't think he was. And obviously, like you can find a lot of really good videos um, on YouTube about delving into his character. Uh, I think Fither did one. A couple other people have, you know, I've seen some on it. Uh, they're just really good the psychology. So. I actually really liked the all the villains. Uh, if we our list was longer, there probably would have been a couple more on there. Like Number six Shima. was a villain. So the main storyline was good, but, you know, I don't even want to say predictable. But even Shido was, he was like, he was fine. I did, I actually really liked Yaldabaoth. I thought that was a cool, like, I you know, the whole Shido. time, I liked him, but I just, I mean, he wasn't anything he wasn't, phenomenal compared was, to some yeah, of the others. He wasn't, like, the best yeah. villain, but he, he was, was, he was he good. He was, like, one of the top five villains. He was, I mean, he was good for what his purpose was in the game. I just liked some of the others more for other reasons. Anyways, mm -hmm. you know, the, the it, it was all straightforward until the royal or, you know, expansion part. And really what's so fascinating about Dr. Maruki is that he isn't even... Try, like he's not necessarily against the phantom thieves he just has a different priority that doesn't align with theirs he's legit trying to help people he thinks he's helping people uh but what his path to doing that is different than what the phantom thieves ideology is so mm -hmm. i just think that opens up like a really interesting um discussion or discord like plot you know like how do you move forward from there i just thought it was so well done I loved the whole base game, but just the expansion, the storyline part of it, more even more so than just cool characters or, you know, whatever. The, you know, each one was individual. That whole thing was so cohesive, no matter how long it was. It was just so well done. I loved everything about Maruki's development, um, his purpose, what he believed in. I think that's it was great to finally have a villain that just wasn't like, oh, I want to destroy the world or I want to take over everything and be in charge of everything. Like, he was totally different in that regard. I super appreciated it's everything be, about like, it. Probably, in my opinion, one of the, uh, a video games, like, one of the, their best antagonists, because he didn't see it like some other villains or antagonists. 
he, yeah, like you were See, saying. See, I wouldn't even say should, villain. Yeah. I have I, a hard time calling him a villain. Yeah, I mean, he thought he would, he could try and help people and really, like, help them go through bad things in their life. Yeah. But the Phantom Thief. It's just his way of doing it was yeah. different. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. So, that's why. Okay, so you want to do your number three? Mm-hmm. My number three was Tate Tamaki, um, the doctor. El doctor? No, no. Um, I just really liked her because, um, I love the, I like, um, Mishima, um. I liked her spider dress. When she met Ren in the park, or uh, Joker in the park, and she had the spider dress on. I thought that was cool. Um, I just really liked the story about how, like, when you were, like, leveling up her arcana, she was going through the difficulty, and you even there were, like, with the little girl and, and, like, her sickness, and no other doctors had found it, but to kind uh, take Oh, and she kind of got, like, screwed over by the hospital. Yeah, like, and she got screwed over. Yeah, she, she did called, have a good storyline. Yeah, she got called the plague because people just didn't like her, but... Once she finally did something, people finally accepted her. And that just made me really happy because she was probably one of my favorite non-Persona, um, like, girls in the game. So, I just... You already had Haifumi. Hifumi. Hifumi? Haifumi? I think it's Haifumi. It's Haifumi. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I just really liked her. That's cool. Okay. So, uh, my number two is actually, I feel bad, it's the only, the only female on the list is on. Um, oh. So, God, how do you explain this one? Um, obviously, there's a lot of really good videos. I saw one about the, um, you know, just the over-sexualization. I think I saw one on male gaze that were discussing her and her, like, the, the out, her metaverse outfit. Um, well, yeah, and I totally... Weren't, like, the Phantom Thieves, like supposed to like represent one of the seven deadly sins or something like uh, i've never heard that yeah i'm pretty sure i read it somewhere like on was supposed to be like lust or something yusuke was like gluttony or something i don't know yusuke oh because he wants to eat he's not fat i know but like not i don't think yusuke was gluttony but i'm pretty sure i read somewhere that like this, um, they were all supposed to represent, like, one of the seven deadly sins. I mean, maybe maybe that's a fan theory. I don't know about that. But mm-hmm. anyways, um, to just focus on her Phantom Thief attire from it, I actually really appreciated the character design. Um, I am one of the people that lean more towards that she was taking control of her sexualization. She was being in charge of it. That's why the outfit was a little more risque than some of the others. But I also appreciated that it had more color. And was more bold. Uh, a lot of the oh, Phantom Thief outfits. Oh, hey, you're interrupting me. Oh, Let me finish my thing. Red. Yeah, but a lot, a, a lot of the other Phantom Thieves, it was just a very dark motif. Hers at least was bright and vibrant. Like she stood out. That's one of the things I liked about it. I actually liked all their designs except for Fox's. I wasn't super keen on some of the designs. Like I didn't like the t- tail on the side. Thought it was kind of goofy, but Fox's design was amazing. It's okay. I love this mask. But anyways, she, I just thought she stood out in that regard. But even more so than the, the metaverse side, what I appreciated so much about her character is, uh, you know, even before I started, just, you, don't, you know, you see her, you think she's going to fit into that role of, like, the uh, ditzy bimbo or um, just that, like, superficial, um, you know, female of the group. And really, in my opinion, she didn't do that at all. She... Um, you know, maybe in the real world, she might have doubted herself a little bit, like, the direction she wanted to go in, or who she wanted to become, but, like, what young person at the age of, I don't know, you know, how old she, they're supposed to, she is exactly 17, something like that, like, who, who knows at 17 what you want to become, but, uh, you know, she still was, like, not an airhead, she was very compassionate, and, uh, you know, like, full of, like, you know, Oh, what's I, she, she wanted to be involved. She wanted to help people. She wanted to be like understood. Kind of, like. Well, I think they all want to be understood, but she like, you know, she never was just like, oh, okay, I'll just go along through. She she was one of the leaders. She's like what, stood up to she what she thought was wrongdoing, and she wanted to fix that. You know, in the metaverse, she was a total badass. She you know was one of the first ones to you know 
it, uh, I think that like okay, let's we got to push ahead. We got to do what we need to do and protect the innocent people. Um, yeah, because um, so I just like that she didn't fit into those stereotypes that you thought she was gonna fit into. I thought she was the most interesting uh, of the female characters. Um, I think uh, if Haru would have had um, more time or come into the story earlier and got fleshed out more, I think they could have done a lot of interesting things with her. But I just don't think she got enough time to develop as well. Um, I know a lot of people will argue that Makoto is better or whatever. I just didn't care for Makoto as much. All but I just really team. liked everything, all the plot devices, the way they moved An's character forward. I appreciated all of it a lot more. So um, I'm just glad that she didn't fall into those stereotypes. She actually kind of defied them in a lot of ways. And to me, that was what elevated her so much higher. So that's why she's my number two. All of the Phantom Thieves are amazing in their own way. They really are. They are great cast of characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they all go through difficulties, but they all work on it together, and they all just are, like, awesome. All right, what's your number two? Um, my number two is Ryuji. Okay. Part of the reason he's number two is because he has a scarf in the Because metaverse. of the yellow scarf? Yeah, because of the scarf. Okay. But, um... Uh, kind of like yours, I really liked how he kind of didn't care what people think of him. Yeah, he, I like, think that's an amazing character. Yeah, like, he would, like, if someone, if, like, An were to, like, annoy him or something, he would just annoy him. Or Morgana, him really. Yeah, Morgana's a jerk sometimes. He just, yeah, he was. He just bullies you, you Yeah. Um, but I like how he doesn't have to be told to do anything he doesn't want to do, like, he just kind of does what he does, but at the same time, he's an amazing character. So I really like him, and it really sucks that Kamoshida also abused him, but it made me really happy to see that Ryuji and An kind of like... And Mishima, and uh, oh, what was An's friend? The girl that... Uh, not Yukiko. No. That's from P4. Yeah. Um, I forgot. I forget her name too. Dang, I feel bad. Yeah. But yeah, they Wasn't were Wasn't all... it like Sasume or something? No. Yeah, no. It doesn't matter. Yeah, An's best friend. I like how um, uh, An and Ryuji were kind of able to get revenge on Kamoshida for, like, Mishima and An's friend. I really, uh, that made me happy because... You're it's... going off topic now. Ryuji. Yeah. You're yeah. talking about Ryuji. Just... <laughs> we gotta end up, now we're this, nobody wants to watch us ramble for 20 minutes about this. Yeah, okay, I just like really hack. like Ryuji. I really love him. Okay, let's burn out number one. Sorry, guys. We did. We just were sat down. We didn't have a lot of direction. So number my number one. My bad. Clearly the best character of the game. Uh, obviously, this is just my opinion, but if your opinion is different, you are wrong. Uh, the best character is by far Akechi. Akechi was an amazing antagonist. Um, like, not even just the royal part, but even before that, he was so great. Like, such an interesting character. Really, like, uh, for... I know he's supposed, they're all supposed to be younger characters, but for him, how devious he was, uh, I just really appreciate all that. Um, how he was so involved in the story, but in an indirect way for a long time, but he's still super important. I don't know, just how, how, they, did, how they utilized his character. But then, to me, what really, like, set him apart was the third act, or the uh, royal part. Man, his character just, like, came alive and stole it. I loved every single line. Um, I feel bad. I don't know who the voice actor was, but every line he did in the royal part, he just killed it. He was, it was phenomenal. He just took like, the show. Oh, big time. Like, he was the best part of royal for me. For me. He was just, everything about his character was done perfectly, which is why he's number one. Like, I have zero complaints about his character. Um, I guess that's not true. I'll, I'll say one in a second, but... What they did with that character, I think, is, like, the perfect way to have not a the main antagonist or villain or bad guy or whatever you want to call it, but the most... He's been, in my opinion, of any video game I've ever played, he's the mo most important, like, a secondary villain. Um, but anyway, so my one... If I would voice one complaint about him, it would just be that... Uh, and this will be a spoiler, so I'm warning right now... Uh, his second phantom the or second metaverse costume the dark costume i just i i'm torn on this the diagonal stripes on that are like throughout his whole costume i love the helmet 
But the stripes were just a almost a little bit too bold. I like how we went from like a, just a red mask to like an actual crow mask. Like, the whole dark, yeah. yeah. Like, it's dark and I liked and, like, the I liked the Phantom Thief like, outfit, like I, the from the set. I liked the white and the red with the gold tassel. I thought that was kind of like when the his, fit who he was pretending to be. But I loved his uh, the dark one. I'm just not super bold, like keen on the huge stripes throughout the whole like shirt and um pants i don't know what i would change about it so i can't say i hate it but i'm not i think it that's the like that's just not what i my biggest thing about his character as a whole which is a minor thing because it's just a costume thing that i don't necessarily think is my favorite but it's not that bad he's still a phenomenal character akechi's the best you want to go um yeah my number one is futaba sakura oh i didn't see that coming at all um, in my opinion, she is 50 times better than every single character in Persona 5. Character individually or combined? Combined. <laughs> she is amazing. She is an amazing introvert hacker that everyone should love. She is just amazing at what she does. She is by far my favorite character. I love her orange hair and her metaverse costume. I love when she has a cool costume. Yeah, um, and I love in the metaverse, um, it goes from just this kind of uh, when you evolve her persona, it goes from this just kind of like basic like kind of UFO thing with like a gargoyle statue to like this giant like alien starship thing that she rides on. I'm pretty sure or something like that. And I just think that's super awesome. And then I also love her arcana where like. Once you get to uh, her to like a super high level, like she can down the enemy, she can protect you from like strong attacks that will kill you. She can like do showtime attacks. Well, one where she drops a bomb. Um, but in total, she's just the best character in the game, in my opinion. Like, not even fifty times. She's like seventy-five times better than every single person in Persona Five combined. Combined, okay. See, I actually, this With is kind of a, uh, this is kind of cheating from our rules, but I actually like her more, even though we're only like 12 hours, 11 or 12 hours in to Strikers. I actually like her more in Strikers than I did in the base game, but I, we, I don't want to go into that now just because we'll do our um, discussion video on Strikers when we beat it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she's a good character. She's I think, amazing in yeah. every way. Okay. So that's her. So All yeah, right. that's our top five for um, Persona 5. five. Uh, still haven't figured out. I want to do. We want to do a just like a review slash discussion of the whole the game as a whole. Uh, I'm still getting closer, but I haven't gotten to the point where I can edit uh, gameplay into the video, which I want to try to do. Uh, I am working hard to try to make these videos better, but I work full time and I've got a million things going on. So this is really just kind of like a secondary fun project for us. But by the way, we're up over 30 subscribers, which is amazing. Yeah, thank you guys yeah, so much. Yeah, that's awesome. It means like a lot to us. Yeah, we just we do did, this for we fun. Thought we were going to have like maybe our friends, five, like five people. <laughs> yeah, like five people so, subscribe. So yeah, and, it's, like, that's great. Two of um, our videos have like over like. 300 views and 400 Which aren't even views. our Persona videos. Yeah, which aren't even our Persona But still, videos. we appreciate like, it so much. Amazing. This is Thank just you. a fun thing for us to do. And uh, the fact that, you know, as many of you guys are watching as you are, it's just amazing. To me, it blows me away. I think that's awesome. But um, I do want to do better quality videos. So mm -hmm. I am still trying to figure out how to edit so we can do more game reviews. Because we actually do play a lot of games besides Persona. We oh, just yeah. have kind of put mm -hmm. that on the back burner until we figure it out. But anyways, that's our list for this sorry it was so long we really appreciate you guys checking this out or any of our other videos yeah thank you guys you have a great day so much. yeah have a good day have a good um, a great, great week night. yeah and a month and year yeah all, all of it. it just yeah all of it all right thank bye you guys, guys all so much